Good morning and welcome to another episode of Soda Stream News. I am your host, Jermaine Legree. And I'm your other host, Luke Gothier. Today is Thursday, November 1st, 2018, and it is a D-Day. Don't miss the final weekend of Romeo and Juliet here at School of the Arts in the Black Box Theater. Remaining show times are Friday at 7 p.m. and Saturday at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Anyone interested in cheerleading, you need to be requalified by the nurse this week. Tryouts are on Monday, November 5th, 2.30 to 4.30 in room N321. Attention 7th and 8th grade students, the middle school student government <laughs> is happy to announce our second annual food drive starting next week, Monday, November 5th through Friday, November 9th. Last year, we collected almost 2,000 items that were donated to Foodlink to help local families. Let's challenge ourselves to collect even more items that we can give back to help others this year. Please plan to bring in non-perishable items to your homeroom starting Monday. The winning 7th and 8th grade uh, homerooms with the most donations will receive a donut and juice breakfast in November. Questions? See your middle school student government officers or Miss Co and Mrs. Kosha. From Coach Rogers, for all that are interested in wrestling this year, see your nurse this week for a requalification. The season begins next Monday at East High. Monday, November 5th, JV and Varsity Wrestling begins at East High. Bring your requal from next Monday to East High practice starts at 4 p.m. Attention girls interested in softball off-season workouts. There will be a final meeting this Friday after school in room A237. If you cannot make it, see Mr. Diaz. Town show auditions will be held December 3rd and 4th from 2.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. in room A175. Please come with your piece prepared to present in front of student government officers. Eligibility standards apply to the show. Be sure to have your grades up for the end of the marking period one. Student government has also purchased another microwave for use during high school lunches. Please be sure to clean, keep these clean so that, because it is a privilege to all students that we can all enjoy. From Ms. Sapir, thank you to all who auditioned for ELF. The callback list will be posted on the drama bulletin board in M2 hallway. Callbacks will be this afternoon from 2.30 to 5.30 in the Ensemble Theater. Everyone who auditioned, check the cast list to be posted tomorrow, Friday, and then pick up your script and rehearsal schedule from Miss Appear in room M231. Are you interested in learning to play modern music styles like rock, pop, funk, soul, and more? See Mr. Petito in the band room in order to sign up for the brand new Soda Modern Band Club. All are welcomed, regardless of major, skill, skill level, or experience. The club will meet once a week on Wednesdays for students to learn to play instruments, including guitar, bass guitar, drum set, and keyboard, and will also meet every other week for modern band rehearsal. There will be no meetings this week due to preparations for the Soda Orchestra concert at 7 p.m. today and the Soda Jazz Band concert on 7 p.m. at tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Tune in tomorrow for another sip of the Soda Stream news. Me and I'll leave you with a throwback. Hi, I'm Mrs. Spaker. I'm the costume designer here at School of the Arts, and my throwback is I used to work for Kodak as a hand model. I started this when I was 15 years old. My dad had a friend who did a lot of local um, acting and he was a comedian and he suggested that I go down and have a test shot and I they did and for the next 10 years plus I did a lot of work at Kodak. So um, not only did I do the hand modeling but I did some group shots and I did local modeling for bridal shows and at that time when I was modeling mannequin modeling was very popular so you had to stay still and then move, and people would get in your face and try to make you laugh, but uh, that was fun. I also did a few runway shows, which scared me to death because I thought I was going to fall down all the time. So uh, I did one show at Sibley's when it was downtown, and it was sponsored by Mademoiselle Magazine out of New York City. 
So that was pretty exciting. So that's my throwback. From 1983. Oh, um, she's out here. Those are my hands. <laughs> the hands. Your thumb still looks the same. Yeah. <laughs>